it's sh that's should how it be or should how should should how it be should how it should how it work <laughs> what's up everyone welcome back to the channel today we're gonna grave some glass i'm getting a lot of people asking how come they're getting different results from using non-rotary to rotary well i got some tips for you and we're gonna be using the thunder laser and the boss rotary tool it's pretty simple it's stuff i'm gonna go through simple techniques that i use and what settings i use and they're Therefore, we're just going to jump right into it. Sorry for any kind of mess around here. It is super busy for us right now. I am making, I just got done and I'm running now. See these little jigs? These are for tags. We're going to sit in there like so. Like that. Yeah. I got uh, a job to do. I'm going to run in this laser and that's how big that jig is but for how fast i can do it in here it takes it was three seconds per tag yeah three seconds uh-huh so we're gonna run that in there i think what i need to do is buy the rotary tool for the fiber laser and get a table on there so maybe that'll be in the next video um not the rotary tool but i have to make a jig or a platform thing over here so I can slide in <clears throat> let me show you I'm gonna make something that goes this way so then I can just take this and it's tall enough just so this fits over it slide that in there and it ends here so this way it's oops you're not even seeing it ends here so this way it blocks off now then I can just grab this and pull it out i can put like a piece of tape on the bottom so i have something to pull on and then i don't have to worry about this i can sit right here and keep switching these out and loading them but honestly i have three of them made and i don't think i'm going to be able to keep up so yeah it's like 30 some seconds it takes to do one of those jigs for 10 and it comes out really white so it's really nice See it? See how white it is? It's really sweet. So, anyways, back to the video, duh. The glasses. We're gonna be using the Thunder Laser with the Boss Rotary Tool. This has been my go-to laser for a while now. Um, I do this one for all your, I use this laser for all my cutting. I don't do the Rotary Tool unless I have big jobs, which, I also need to get that done. Those are all glasses, not glasses. Those are all stainless cups for a company. So yeah, we got a lot going on. So I'm gonna get this going. We're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you what I do. The settings on here. We're gonna run the pint in here. We're gonna go through it all. All right. All right. First things first. <clears throat> line up your rotary tool. So I have a mark on here and I have a mark on here. So I'm gonna line these two marks up and then i know we're good to go so it's pretty simple um, if you don't know how to do that what you can do is take your cup hold on <laughs> you take your cup set it down on a desk or something put a piece of tape on here take a speed square make a line now once you have the line you want to set it in the tool and you want to level this make sure it's level set it in there and then you're going to run the laser head back and forth to make sure the lines are lined up. And then you can mark, make your marks on the rotary tool itself. And that's how you come up with if it's square. And I'm good. So, I, know, I mean, I know I'm good, but, you know, I'm good. And then what do you can't forget, you got to level it. Take your handy dandy level. Mine's got two bubbles, that ain't gonna work. There we go. Now, once it's level, you're good to go. You can take that off. Now, we're gonna run the program. But, before you go and do that even, there's one more step. One more, just one more, I swear. It's like a common thing, you know? Some of you guys understand. Ah, one more, one more, one more. All right, back to this. You're going to go up. We're 
gonna get this so it's just hitting that and just above it ooh right there almost sweet we'll go right there just a little bit of wiggle room in there so it comes out to be right between five and seven so or I mean six and seven so six and a half is the center where the tube is all right now we're good to go there now we gotta go to the computer we gotta take measurements first I do have this all set up in my computer but being I'm going through it with you I might as well walk you through the whole thing so let's get it in the computer all right now we're going on the computer sorry about the angle you got a little bit of a double chin I mean it's really not a double chin it's it's a lot of muscle really just like my one ab <laughs> all right once you go in here we're gonna go over to see how it says enable rotary right here i already have that all set up so if you don't um i can link a video or we'll do figure something out i have this all set up but what we need to do is come into the library first we're gonna let's type what do we want we're gonna put hello looks like it's a good one hello 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 and I'm only gonna want it three inches wide long whatever length and then what I'm gonna do is go over here you can see I put in the thunder stuff now materials for thunder go right to the website you can download this put it in your libraries you're gonna go to glass it's gonna say no thickness and this is what always got me so you're gonna click that and it's gonna have engraving so not engravy not in, in that gravy it's engraving you're gonna double click it and now you're gonna look at the settings okay yep 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 now you're gonna go assign and it's gonna assign it right to the black for me so now you see up here it has the speed and everything in it we're good to go so then we're gonna go back down to laser now we're gonna go now we need the measurement for this so you can see this is gonna be smaller this end and then this end is gonna be a lot bigger okay we're gonna take a ruler all this stuff that I'm using is gonna be linked in the description for you so it'll be pretty easy even my handy dandy caliper we might be using this to make sure the sizes are right but it should this has been pretty good for me so we're gonna do take the glass take your measuring tool and if you don't have the money to buy one of these get yourself your shoestring because you can take that off your shoe and then you measure around here and then measure it with a tape measure or a wooden one whatever you got improvise so we're gonna take the top of the glass, we're gonna measure the top of the glass. 11 inches! And then the height is six inches will go. A little, little more, but it'll be all right. No big deal. So steps per rotation, let's see. Diameter, we go 11 inches. And it's it's been a while, a little rusty. It sh that's should how it, be or should how should should how be should how it should how it work <laughs> and then you'll see over here current position i have job origin and you'll see it's going to start right at this green dot so what i'm gonna have to do is move the laser over position on the glass but i think i'm going to rotate this so it's going that away i'm going to flip it there we go so this is how it's going to go for me and we're just going to Send it. Send it. And I, what I like to do here, so I don't back up a bunch of the stuff on the computer or the laser um, on the board and everything. What I do is I mark everything as one. And that just makes it simple. And then you just override it. So files exist already. Yes, it does. Do you want to override? Yes, because then it's there is no deleting. It just keeps cycling through. So we're gonna send that over. And now let's go and see what it's doing. We're also gonna turn on the exhaust. We gotta get the glass. Where's the glass? There's the glass. 
put the glass in like so and then for this I'm gonna go right about there before you start you want to make sure you hit origin so it stays there and then I'm gonna come over here and hit frame see it I'll do it again frame all right now we're good to go so now all I have to do is hit start do you want to be in the laser or out the laser? Uh, do I want to risk taking the camera and wrecking it today? Eh, everything's a risk. You're going in. Voila, just like that. Look at that. So, there's something else I want to show you. I use these sanding discs and I just run over them I do with all my glass. Some people say it's not necessary, but I just do. And then I do a quick wipe on the shirt in case there's any kind of dust on there and it comes off and you have a perfect engraving. Well, I mean near perfect because nothing really is perfect. So what we also can do is I'm going to show you. We're going to go, let's see, all the way around. Now that was measured to the top of this with a little bit of space. So now, let's go in. Let's zoom into it. Let's go down to like two. So the center, let me show you. So see how I'm doing this? Upside down, hold on. See that? How it's right, right there in the center of the laser perfect now we're gonna run it like that a lot of times if you're having troubles with the chipping you can go into two and one of the guys at uh, Thunder actually told me that and some of the glasses if you have an issues with it engraving generally I don't have an ad, don't have any problem just going flat like this but there has been one time where I went into two and it worked out perfect, all the same settings, everything. So let me do another round of hello. And then we'll see how it turns out. And for this one, you guys aren't going in there. Ugh. This better not be another video where I'm kneeling the whole time. Let's see, you guys got a pretty good view from up there. Yeah, so we're gonna leave the same settings. I'm just gonna hit start again. Hello. All right. So I'm gonna take this sanding disc. Have you guys? You got, you got me now. You got me good. All right. All right. Here we go. And you can see the clouds on this one. I didn't switch sides. The other side is the clean one. This side is the cloudy one. So I'm gonna go over it, and it's like nothing. So it's just two little tricks to help you. All right. Here's the other thing is. We're done with this. The sanding disc, I have it linked down below. Everyone's asking where I'm getting them. You don't have to use them. Some people don't like them. I use them. That's why I'm telling you guys, so I don't want to hear it in the comments that, oh, those don't work, don't use them. They work for me, I like using them. If you want to use them, you have a set, they're down below, and I use the highest, I think it's the top five, four or five. They keep changing the color and such, but I have two, that I'm, these are the top two, I think it was. And I use them all the time. It's the only ones I use. So, we're gonna take this rotary tool out. Think about this. Now, if you're doing it with the epilogue, the epilogue has to be off before you take and unhook it. Thunder laser, bead epilogue. You can unplug it when the laser's on and it does not hurt it. <sighs> I tell ya. The things that you just make your life so much easier. So we're gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna pick this bad boy up. Put it down over here where I store it all the time. I've actually only used this probably 20 times. Yeah, I really haven't used it a whole ton. But every time I do use it, it's like an all day event. So now all done with this, where is the other one. Oh, I found it. It's over here. 
You get lost around here. It's a big area. <laughs> All right, now it's a flat surface with kind of a little bit of a roundness. I'm gonna show you how to engrave this. Now, the other thing, I'm going to run this. Ah, battery's dying. I gotta get a new battery. There you are. There you, yeah, you're all good now. I had to give you a little and compressions and I was about to do mouth to mouth, but I wanted to, you know, it's a family friendly channel. So I didn't want to do that. And then you guys came back. All right, enough for the joking. It's always fun though. So what I do here is I like to set up a system like this. So it sits level, okay? Use this. It's hard to do with one hand. So now I know this is in there level, square. So now I have to just come over here and that laser sound all right so I'm gonna get the height all figured out too all right now here's my tool I always set up and I go all the way in on these so what I mean by that is I go to like I showed you in the last one right to the tip So fast, so quick. Little more. Oh, perfect. Mmm. So I've done it any better. Now we're gonna do hello again. Should I do hello? Should I switch it up? Maybe I'm gonna switch it up on you guys. Settings are gonna be the same, but the words might be different. I kept it boring. We're gonna keep it there. We're good to go. I just have it as hello. But you guys are gonna live on the wild side. You know, be in here and watch it. Hope you guys have your safety glasses on. You're about to watch a laser. Why, hello! How are you? Set you guys down over in yonder. So, we got, we got it. Hello, hello, hello. Say hello to my little friend. That's it, dude. Like, it's pretty stinking good. Like, really, it is. There's kind of, like, right on the edges, you have a couple spots. But it's, like, if you look at glass really closely, it's not smooth either. A lot of times, it's got, like, little divots. And it's right on those little divots. There'll be like a little imperfection, but it doesn't. It's not sharp. You can't tell. It looks good. It's crisp. That's it. It's simple. You can do it. I I run it like that. So I do a lot of flat um, picture frames in here. I don't do like I said. I haven't been doing a lot of the rotary, but whenever we get the big orders, I run them through. I am gonna run those. Um, I have 72 20 ounce, they're 72 20 ounce navy blue, it says on it. So I'll be running those in here, and then I have 72 pints that I'm gonna set back up and run them in here. So I should have done this video backwards. I should have started with this first, and then ended with this so it was ready to me go, ready for me to go. But, anyways, I gotta switch that out. And I'm also going to set up this fiber laser right now so I can start running these jigs as I have those other two running because I don't know how that's going to work. I'm not going to keep up. I think I'm going to have to get one of my kids to help me if they want. And yes, they get benefits from it. So I'm going to set that up. Actually, I'm going to make another video. So I'll see you guys next week. And I'm gonna wear the same clothes and have the same smile and personality. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make a jig for my fiber laser, I think. Like a cover 
thing, you know, like a that thing. We'll see. Glad you guys see me again. <laughs> Bye.